Hey everyone, it's February 14th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with John Macon, an Australian baby farmer who murdered as many as 13 infants along with his wife, Sarah. And that is John right up there and Sarah right over there. Macon was born in New South Wales in 1845, the son of a farming family. He married Sarah in 1871, and the two had 10 children of their own five daughters and five sons. After an injury, John was unable to continue his work as a drayman, which is someone who delivers beer for a brewery. To earn a living, the two turned to baby farming. Baby farming was the practice of caring for illegitimate babies in exchange for payment. But the Macons would take in babies, collect child support payments from the parents, then kill the babies while still collecting payments, and move when too many questions were asked. It's unknown when their murderous ways began, but they came to an end in 1892 when a drain at their former home in McDonald Town was clogged and a plumber came to work on the house. He found that it was blocked by the remains of two infants and an investigation was launched. The Macons were quickly apprehended and the police traced their moves back through 11 homes they had occupied over the previous three years. Remains were exhumed from each, with them finding the bodies of at least 12 children in just that time frame. It is believed that they killed the children via suffocation. Since no trauma was found on any of the corpses and no traces of poison were detected. Four of their older daughters were arrested alongside the pair, but only the parents were tried for their actions. They were charged in the case of Horace Murray, a young child who they had taken in from an 18-year-old mother who paid them child support expenses of 10 shillings per week. After giving the Macons her baby, the mother got nothing but excuses when she asked to visit the child. She never saw the boy alive again. Both John and Sarah Macon were tried and found guilty of murder in 1893 and were sentenced to death. The judge in the case said, You took money from the mother of this child. You beguiled her with promises which you never meant to perform. You buried this child in your yard as you would the carcass of a dog. Three yards of houses in which you live testify with that ghastly evidence of these bodies that you were carrying on this nefarious, this hellish business of destroying the lives of these infants for the sakes of financial gains. Macon's two appeals and a plea for clemency were denied and he faced the gallows at Darlinghurst Jail in August of 1893. Sarah's sentence was commuted, and she spent the next 19 years in prison engaged in hard labor, being released in 1911 and dying seven years later. If this was your birthday, I hope you had a great day. If you know somebody whose birthday it is, please send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to John Macon, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.